Welcome to the Bowser vs. Donkey Kong first reaction preview. In just a few moments, I'm going to start up my app and we'll take a look at what's going on in the next tour. In terms of tracks, most of us are expecting only a brand new RMX track or two new reverse trick tracks. If we're going to get a reverse trick track, the um, the course that they show in the preview will be an existing one because that will mean that no new assets are being brought to the game and if there's an RMX track we'll be able to decipher that from the image because um, the layout of the track will be vastly different than the existing one. There are still other possibilities something that would be very hype would be a brand new retro track coming to the game, either Donkey Kong or Bowser themed, um, as well as many of you have seen the recent Godzilla vs. Kong movie, so a lot of you have thought it would be absolutely wild if they had the setting in New York, bring back New York Minute, whether that's New York Minute 4 or one of the past ones, so those are all the theories and possibilities out there. Let's take a look and see what we have. I just booted up the app and I saw that there's absolutely nothing. I'm sure every single one of you out there um, was very surprised when the little news icon didn't come up. Wow, I mean, okay, well let me take a second here and collect my thoughts. We were given news of um, what items we can expect on Thursday. So perhaps they didn't want to cluster the news with what is going on in this tour. So if we take a look here, this is the news that came out yesterday and we saw that the rewards have been boosted. Okay, That means that the losing team will now receive a badge with a silver outline around it. Which is nice, okay? It means everybody receives a badge. It also means that no one can have every single badge in the game on one account. Does it change anything for the vast majority of us? No, it doesn't. Um, I never planned on using either one of these badges. Um, some of us, uh, some other of you um, out there probably feel the same way. So in terms of the rewards, it's still the same. 15 rubies and 3,000 coins for first place and to the runner-up team it's 10 rubies and 1,500 coins. Nothing has changed there. In terms of the token shop, we are getting high-end drivers. Pink Gold Peach, most of you out there have her at a very high level. However, I know some of you like Isai do not have PGP yet, so this is huge. Um, very exciting for you guys that don't have PGP yet. Um, Metal Mario, not very hype. So, coming into today, I was thinking all the momentum is leaning towards Team Bowser's side, and it just seemed appropriate to drop a preview with um, Im an image that indicates some kind of a new DK high end, perhaps something tied into what they might tease for E3 or the Nintendo Direct, whatever is going to come um, in July, because it is the 40th anniversary of the DK franchise. Diddy Kong had recently received a, um, a modern render, um, so that now he, he looks on par with his render from Tropical Freeze on one of the Nintendo websites. So certainly, um, they're going to be doing something with that franchise, whether it's it's something massive or something small, we don't know. Um, however, I mean, that's how I see this game playing out, right? Because it is a great marketing tool for Nintendo. There's a lot of people who do mobile gaming who don't do console gaming, but they're potential consumers for console gaming. And if you if they tie in things that can tease and you know, incentivize hype people up for console gaming, you might be able to move some systems that way or sell some software that way. And that would be a really powerful way for Mario Kart Tour to enhance the revenue that it's bringing in for Nintendo that extends beyond just in-app purchases itself. 
but as we see, I mean, they're letting, they're dropping the ball here in terms of um, generating hype, not only for this tour itself, but also for the brand, the product, Nintendo, and the Donkey Kong franchise. So what are my expectations from here? Honestly, guys, it's certainly possible that we don't see a brand new character in the next tour. As inconceivable as that is, they've held out information all the way until now. If we go over to the shop, we see that the special pipe is gone. So there's not some great need to um, sell the special pipe anymore in terms of getting people to make polls, to purchase rubies. Um, however, if we think about what could be in uh, the pipe for the, the DK versus Bowser tour, you, it's very difficult to make a cohesive, rational pipe without introducing a new character. This is something that Sammy has talked about on Cart Life in his Discord. If you're not in the Cart Life Discord, I'll provide a link in the description below. Um, it's a great place. It's where I spend um, most of my time on Discord lately. So definitely join the Cart Life Discord. There's no way that you can make a pipe unless it's something completely unprecedented. Like, okay, how would a pipe work if you just use Super Bowser and Super Donkey Kong as the spotlights, you would need to have the super pool of that pipe on the order of the throwback pipe, which was, what was that? Nearly like two thirds of the pipe were, were supers. So um, that was kind of like the, dis the disaster scenario that I was going through in my head, right? Otherwise, you're gonna have other representation in those pipes that aren't Donkey Kong himself. Um, you can have Bowser, of course. You can have his gold version of Dry Bowser in the pipe. However, that's only been in gold pipes, right? It was just in a pipe in the Ninja Tour. Would that come back on its own standalone pipe? Highly doubtful. Just as doubtful would be Santa Bowser because he's a holiday exclusive character and they've never, oh, look, they've brought back other holiday exclusive characters at different points in the year, but they've never done that for the Christmas, Hanukkah, um, holiday season characters, right? Those holiday characters have stayed locked within that window between November and December, and they've not come out at a different time. Some of them, as I've referenced before, such as Holidaisy, weren't even in a pipe last December. The only way that you could get Holidaisy in 2020 was through a paid bundle. So in terms of what Bowser could receive, it also seems just as like he would receive a new character as well. Anyway, um, let me fire off the free pipes while we're here. Um, ranked mode, actually, here, let's take a look at ranked mode. I'm actually in first place this week. Turned out to look much, much better than expected, in part because of the all clear pipe that I pulled in my last video, which I'll link above. I pulled the butterfly wings, which enabled me to get a score so far of 19,000. With a double coin frenzy, I can probably get that to about 20,000 on the button, which I'll continue to try to do um, as needed. As you can see, I already have a 1,000 point cushion just about. So actually they went up by 100 points or so. So well, I'll take a look off camera and see what moves have been made. However, um, I could use some help on Sydney Sprint T, either with a cart or a glider. I know it's a long shot, but it is a very good pipe. Should you guys pull on this pipe? Um, the answer is absolutely yes. It's in the top 20 of pipes on Tabor's list. It has a coin box driver, a dash ring driver, um, both fairly valuable in terms of the overall rankings. Now, in terms of the carts, once again, Soda, uh, Blue Soda, rather, was a top 10 cart for a long time last year. And this Cheap Snorkel is also in the top 15 um, of this tour's um, overall ranking for carts. 
Now, as far as the gliders go, not as valuable, but not absolutely terrible. So it's a nine high end pipe, very good one to go into if you don't already have these items. If you have these items, you might want to save because we don't know what's on the horizon. They haven't teased anything at the usual point in time. So let's go. All right, let's see some gold, come on. It's green. Honestly, I probably don't need extra help for this week's rank one. Koopa Dasher, not very good. That's actually pretty bad. And the second one. Also green. I'd like to see a super though. Bold Blaster. All right, two normal cards. Not too good, you guys. And... <laughs> I'm gonna have to reevaluate my hopes and expectations moving into next tour. This is a very puzzling preview cycle that they're going through because they're not showing us what the track is, they're not showing us what the character is. Does that mean that it's very exciting, that it's very secretive? Certainly possible. But it's also possible that it could be the most mundane, cookie cutter, repeat tour that we could possibly imagine in which we're just given a few extra goodies and that's they're expecting us to just keep on playing as if it's the same old exciting game that we've been playing for nearly two years now look let's be honest here um things have not been as hype in the second year of the game so far they've been very generous with the rewards but that's about it. We haven't seen any new characters come to the game. Um, we've seen a lot of alts um, at different points in time. But um, yeah, personally, I expect more moving forward. And uh, that just hasn't been met yet. So um, I'm going to keep an optimistic, open mind as we proceed into the next tour. Um, the next set of news is scheduled to come Monday, and for all indications, the only thing we're going to get from that is the schedule for the bonus time for the team rally. So that will be Saturday and Sunday of week one and Saturday and Sunday of week two, basically which team gets which day of bonus time. Irrelevant for most of us. So um, will they tie in some typical teaser information alongside of that? I certainly hope so, but it doesn't seem to be that way. Anyway, guys, uh, I don't know what to say anymore. Um, hopefully you guys enjoy the video. If you do, click the like button below. Subscribe if you're new. If not, have a great rest of your day. Take care. See you guys on the next one. Bye-bye.